what's up? It's Dr. Dan over here. We got Big Dave in the house. Dave is a freaking beast because he's been running his tail off. How much? Oh, uh, I try to do five miles a day. Five miles a day. What did you do last year or two years ago? You were doing like yeah. some the four by four by forty eight, four miles every four hours for forty eight hours. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Cranked it up. You got into running what two three years ago? A couple years About ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Still consistent with it. Try to be. Try to be. Yeah. Uh, recent issues of what? What are you fighting? Uh, I guess you call it plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis. Yes. Yeah. Uh, first appointment was just last week back in the office. Mm -hmm. um, started to talk lightly about how important it is to develop good run technique outside of running with just postural awareness exercises. So when we check his left shoulder, feel the shoulder pumps here, dude. Mm -hmm. What's the right side do? Pumps way less, yeah, right? Yeah, that's stiff. It feels a little more stiff. Yeah. Stiff, right? This yeah. side's fluid and mobile. Mm -hmm. This side is stiff. So what I'm doing here is pulling the glenohumeral joint back into the shoulder. Would you say that side's clean and clear? Pretty yeah. clean and clear? Yeah. yeah. This side is like, oh. Okay. Yeah. So hands down and open. Nice, right here. We'll go tight to the hips. And beautiful, dude. Nice and balanced. We've got the left elbow, the right elbow, the left shoulder, the right shoulder, the left neck, the right neck. This is a wrist, elbow, shoulder, neck exercise, mainly to engage the back chain, also to allow him to cut better into his left side or into his right side. Beautiful. Now let's add in the elbow. Straighten your elbow, nice. Find that tricep a little bit. Feel how nice that left elbow extends, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Try to do the same on the right side. Same, different? A little different. How so? Uh, it's a little more tougher to do, tougher. I guess, yeah. That's it, tougher, that's all we gotta notice. It's tougher on the right side. So do we have to cut when we run? Boom, boom, mm -hmm. boom. Does our chest have to rotate when we run? Yes, it does. We know you're driving a little more out of your left shoulder mm -hmm. than your right shoulder, right? This side's a little stickier. Yep. So when we run, Dave, we're gonna focus as we run, we can either double run, left, right, left, right, but we know the left side's cleaner and clearer than the right side. Mm -hmm. And so we can focus on the left side. Boom, boom, boom. Or we can focus on the right side. See how we gotta hit back here more? Mm -hmm. One, two. So as we run, we're gonna think about winging this right elbow way far back. And from the back, it's gonna look like, you know, we haven't done any run technique in the gym with Dave. That would be a great thing for us to do down the road. 30, 60 minutes, couple sessions, get you to learn how to pulse mm -hmm. your arms. When we run, we have a whole bunch of different hand positions. We can have wide fingers. We can have soft fists. We can do finger touches. Donut holes here, here, rings, pinkies, right? You're gonna feel your right side is gonna be a little tougher than your left side. Your left side will feel a little more clear, mm -hmm. right? When we run though, we want Dave to focus on this kind of movement. Boom and boom, and boom, and boom back into the right side. Now if we're not running four by four by 48, a whole bunch of miles and a whole bunch of time, or even just nice repetitive, you know, five mile days, definitely gotta stay active and hit the rehab stuff. There goes your adjustment in your AC joint already. Oh, nice, did you feel a little mm -hmm. click in there? Yep. Nice, feel yeah. a little grind right there. Mm -hmm. So how about if we feel, how's this feel right here? No, not bad. Feel that crap right there? Tender, yeah. Tender, okay. So we got some adhesion around the right clavicle. We got some adhesion in the pec minor. We got a little, little, little soreness, stiffness in the AC joint. Not too much, but left side might feel clean and clear. Right side might be a little inflamed. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Right side feels like this. Left side, oh, oh, piece of cake. Feel the left elbow. Fire up the left tricep. Squeeze that left tricep. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze, squeeze. Feel how tough you can make that tricep, how strong. Do that on the right side. Right side, definitely yeah, not it, as easy. Not as easy, but it'll cramp and strain when you focus on it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna pump it up with some electricity. Where's the electricity creator? It's up here, boom, 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 right? It's like brain, we have this subconscious and beautiful conscious mind where we can use our brain to talk to ourselves. And now Dave, let's relax your head and neck. And let's do this way there. There, pull, there. Turn left, turn right. 
tilt left. Turn left, tilt right. Oh, piece of cake. Turn right, tilt left. So that's a little tougher right there. Mm -hmm. So we need Dave, you guys have seen this a couple other times, we need Dave to open up this right side of his neck. As he opens up the right shoulder, tilt the head to the left. See how tough that is up there? Mm -hmm. Now show me the same thing on the left side. Tilt into the right a little bit, let this swing around, tilt this down. See how much freer over here? Mm -hmm. Do the right side. Oh, wow, you can work that a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. Think about a worm. I like to think about worms, right? Worms, do you know what your spinal cord is, right? It's like a yellow, kind of like, it's like white, right? It's like white matter. Mm -hmm. All we are, we got these nice eyes that connect us into the brain. Then we got this suit, right? We call it a meat suit. Some bodybuilders and weightlifters and stuff like that. We just, we're just really a suit of muscle and bone. Mm -hmm. Who we truly are is our nervous system. And we got to free up, just like a worm, Dave does landscaping and stuff, so he knows all about muddy grass and worms popping up, right? And, yeah. and they gotta like wiggle their head and they gotta poke their head up. And when it's raining out, they like to go in the concrete, but then the sun comes out, like, right? Yeah. <laughs> so feel how you wanna wiggle your neck up and around in the figure eight pattern. Tuck your chin back a little bit. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Try to wiggle in that figure eight pattern. You feel how that right side is like all kinds of just. Mm -hmm. A little congested. Me too. I'm also congested in my right C1, C2. Really, it's all tied down into the way that you release your foot as you run. So we don't do that over here in the office. We're going to adjust him today, work on his foot. He's got a little bit of plantar fasciitis. When we run though, Dave, we want to think head left, head right, head left, head right. We want to think left shoulder back, right shoulder back. And then we're going to direct some more of the movement into the right shoulder pull like this. Boom, boom, right? So it's going to become a little dance as we run. Dave's got some diaphragm, some core breathing to do. But before we get down there, we gotta fix a little bit of the right shoulder, okay? Now let's just take a, a break with your hands. Mm -hmm. Just relax your arms. What, let's see what happens already. Oh, this side's great, this side's close. He's a little freer, but see how nice this side feels? Mm -hmm. Hands on thighs. Shoulders down. Here's why, we had a good question on the channel the other day. Why is this chiropractor so special somebody wrote that and why doesn't he use the y strap and why don't we adjust like some of the other chiropractors where they literally just rip your spine open which is amazing so not knocking on the chiros because they're amazing there's a ton of great adjusters out there definitely should follow them and watch but more importantly is reprogramming or recoding the brain so that we know dive forward Yes, nice. Shoulders downward. How about you focus on left hand? How about you focus on right hand? See the difference? Mm -hmm. In your brain, you're feeling this try to squeeze mm -hmm. and pull. There you go. Now left side. Ooh. See that? Mm -hmm. When you're running, Dave, you want to stay lightly tight and packed. You want to stay lightly loud active. And we want to think right shoulder back, left shoulder back. Right shoulder back, left shoulder back. Right shoulder back, left shoulder back. Slight dive forward with the chest, nice. Slight shoulder blades downward, nice. Slight chin back, correct, with the tall head. Now we wiggle the neck out lightly, down, down. And Dave's got a lot to free up in his neck because he's carrying a lot of tension. Turn, up in the cervical spine. So before we get there, Dave, mm -hmm. Where do shoulders go? Because he set him back up a little bit. See how we lowered him down? Mm -hmm. So we gotta break this pattern of, it, of him. I can adjust him and send him out the door. Hey dude, come back in two days, three days when you're all tight again. Hey dude, come back in four days, five days when you're all tight again. Adjustments temporary. Reprogramming, recoding, reactivating, being mindful that we're strong down here. Super important to keep the left shoulder down versus the right shoulder. Mm -hmm. Right shoulder down, left shoulder down. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. D, uh, dive forward deeper, shoulders down, nice. Wiggle your head out left side, right side. You may get a neck adjustment as you do this. You may get some clicks and pops as you do this. And guys, you keep doing that. If I'm in my pockets and I'm at the grocery store and people come up and they say, wow, you got great posture, they do. It's like, but you just prep yourself to be strong in your back chain so that you're nice and open in your thorax because you gotta be open in your thorax. You gotta be open and inviting, not tensed up and fearful about, 
I can't move my back, my neck. Let's just relax. Let's open the chest. Let's breathe in down to there. Nice. Ah, uh, exhale. All right, let's sit back a little bit. Let's look at this on camera. I want you to think, air goes in, diaphragm, belly, pushes out. So when I breathe, watch me, air goes in, down, and out, not up. Can you just push your belly up? Nice, hold that right there. Lift up your chest head, pull your elbows, push your belly. No, oh, don't exhale. <laughs> exhale. Inhale down to here. Better, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now you're gonna push your belly out. Good, do you feel how that's tough right there? Mm -hmm. He's got it right. Feel how, you, feel how you increase this cylindrical pressure. Right? It's called IAP, your intra-abdominal pressure. And it might get tough, and you might feel some cramping in the rib cage. You might feel some light. Feel how strong your back's getting right here, bro? Mm -hmm. So this dude does a lot of heavy manual labor. Or are you more programming now? I forget. No, no law labor. So, law labor. He's got to carry all kinds of stuff. You better be carrying back here, dude, right? Mm -hmm. You better be carrying toolboxes and buckets and shovels and all that stuff with a strong back and a strong back. And there was a concrete guy in here yesterday. He's got, he's like, I'm always carrying five gallon buckets, but he's up here. Mm -hmm. Nope, you're down here, right? You gotta be proud when you work. You gotta be proud throughout the day. Proud is posture. Posture, proudness is pain free. Lots of peas there. Mm -hmm. Proud posture becomes pain-free posture. Notice this side, notice this side. Dive into it a little deeper, boom. Release this away. Oh, there goes a little stress release you felt. Breathe in, breathe out, dive in the right side, let the left shoulder release away. Oh, squeeze it, breathe in, breathe out. So here's why we're different. You gotta do the exercises. You gotta make my job easier. You gotta make your body feel better. We're not magicians. So if you're going to a chiropractor over and over and over again, which is great, I love seeing people, but man, we only got so much time to talk and you know, life becomes the same. A lot of patients come in for wellness care every four, six, eight weeks. Some patients, they come in once, twice a year because they feel great, they run great. Overall, they're pain free. Hopefully you're hitting your rehab. Remember the rocker? Dude's nailing the rocker. Did we talk about toe stretching last time? A tiny bit. Tiny bit. So we're gonna do some lower body, uh, foot, calf muscle activation. Look down. Dave, you already, you already got your foot lasered? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do laser first, sometimes we do laser second. After the adjustment or before the adjustment. Doesn't really matter, but. Diaphragmatic breathing. Today's primary 10 minute focus we just did was on back chain muscle activation for the lats and the triceps. We also talked about setting the shoulders into a light hold and now wiggling the neck and freeing up the right side and the left side. And this movement becomes a dive, duck, over, dive, duck, over, okay? Maybe it's even chin to chest and we just wanna bow down and we wanna set these down lightly, nice. Look how long he just made his neck. Did you feel that, dude? Mm -hmm. How about if I say left side or right side and double sides and chin pulls to chest? So we definitely got to decompress this stuff up here a little bit. Dave's doing number one, activation. Number two, nice stretching for the neck and the shoulder. Cool? Mm -hmm. Go face down on the table for me, beast you. Good. Softly think as you have your hand on the steering wheel about a nice little tuck down press so we've got that back chain active. Maybe we want to roll and push and wiggle back into the back chain. Keep that shoulder nice and engaged. Okay. Toes, easy toes. Nice. Dave's got nice long toes, dude. You barefoot at home a little bit? Oh yeah, nice. Kind of socks off, shoes off, all the deal. Yep. And during the day, wear heavy yeah, you boots. boots. Yep. I'm gonna recommend that you get a pair of Vivos. Vivo makes some really awesome work boots, okay? Yeah. Now, they're not steel toed or anything. It's fine. Don't need them, right? Nope. You get a pair, uh, they're called the Tracker FGs, I believe. 
and they're nice outdoor. They're like hiking boots, but if you're in landscaping, uh, a couple, couple guys come in that do lawn care and landscaping. And my one buddy, he wears his Vivos 24 seven now. He's doing yard work all day. Mm -hmm. He's like, dude, my feet feel like a million bucks after I start wearing these things. Plus, we pair the Vivos with the Naboso insoles, which helps give a little bit of texture. Okay, face down, chest down. Breath in deep. Exhale, chest down. Shoulders down. Two. Breath in deep. Exhale, deep. Relax. Nice, dude. Breath in through your nose. Exhale through your nose, chest down. Piece of cake. Piece of cake, dude. What we're doing, digging out the sacrum a little bit. Definitely this left side. A little bit of, little bit of tendonitis on the right side as well. You guys have a hypervolt at home, right? Right. Hyper uh, vibe gun. You wanna just reach your hand back and just kinda like zap out some of this a little bit, okay? It provides temporary relief, but it does help loosen up some of the muscles throughout the sacrum, okay? Not too bad down here. Face me over here, right side up. Overall, we can make the, um, we, we make the assumption, because he's got nice knee flexibility, you guys can see. Right there goes a little knee pop as we bend it, scooch. People ask all the time, what is an adjustment? It's really just, I like to think of it exhale. Look up towards the ceiling, right there. Open these up. Nice. Other side for me. What is an adjustment? An adjustment is a release of pressure out of the body. So somebody, relax here, breath in, exhale, roll, open, one, two, flattening it back for me. An adjustment is just a depressurization of a joint. It's a buildup of stress in an area. Some issues are muscle related, some are tendon related, some are skeletal related, but they're all connected. Now, this is where Dave's gonna make hip balancing gains at. You guys might see on camera, he's got some baggy pants on, some sweats. But this right knee's way out here, this left knee's up here, okay? So if I draw an angle, I'm gonna say the right knee's here, the left knee's here. You see how this is different? Look down here so you can see. So mm -hmm. this is kinda of out here, this is not, okay? Yeah. So, do I, did you come in with knee pain? Mm -hmm. No. He didn't, he came in with left plantar fasciitis pain. We talked about your IT bands last time. Mm -hmm. This left IT band, you want to zap out a little bit with the hypervolt or the hypervolt. What's that feel like? A little crunchy. A little crunchy. Yeah. Oh, Sore. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna start rubbing this in the car when you drive. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how to do this. You're gonna find this joint space, yeah. and you're gonna just start gnawing away at this little Great. crunchiness. Okay. And it, your knee is already sore. I'm not making it sore, but we are realigning his skeleton with adjustments. And we know that when we test this right side out here, feels like this, this left side. See how this right side bounces gently? Mm -hmm. Feel how much tension's in this left side? So you have a buildup of tension down in the plantar fascia. That's just what he's feeling. But really, it's a whole systemic issue. You see straight down here how this looked down here for me, bro? Mm -hmm. See how the right knee is lower than the left knee? Yep. Okay. Now I already adjusted your lower back. Your right side adjusted gorgeously. Your left side didn't. It's a little tighter. You got to lay in bed at night. Mm -hmm. You're going to be real relaxed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hands up on thighs a little bit. You're going to think about your kneecaps and go ahead, put your head down. All I want you to do, Dave, twist your knees open lightly. Correct. And you're gonna think about a light foot squeeze down and under here. Uh, just even less than that on the left side. Kind of like right there, hold right there. Now you'll start to notice down here, if, if you do what, what you were trying to do, turn this out a little bit, the big toe out, the little toes in. Let's see if we can tap in. Yeah, we're tapping in. Hold this right here. Twist your left knee open just a little bit. Right there. Think about this curling under lightly. 
try to squeeze right under the foot for me. You guys see how this is twitching down here a little bit? See how this is twitching? Feel how it's twitching a little bit? Mm -hmm. How about you do the right side? Soft knee open. How's that side feel comparatively? A little better. A little better, a little easier? Yeah. Twist your left knee open. Straighten your left knee back a little bit. See how it's twitchy way up in the hip there? Mm -hmm. This adductor's twitching like crazy. Left knee open a little bit more. Straighten your left knee back a little bit more. See how tough that gets out there? Mm -hmm. Cool. Take a rest. Right knee opens a little bit. Correct. Piece of cake, right? Mm -hmm. Left knee opens a little bit. Feel the difference? Yep. Okay. Dave's gonna lay in bed at night, just like you guys have seen before. So much of your body balancing occurs in a quiet, private place where you feel comfortable at home, right? Mm -hmm. You can be mindful about your posture and your back chain dominance and your shoulders open and your foot straight stance, outside edge pressure throughout the day, right? So we're always nice and balanced through our feet. Gotta be thoughtful about that throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Definitely a ton of rehab just happens in bed at night when we think right knee open and we think left knee open, and we definitely are gonna work on this left side a whole bunch, okay? Does that make sense? Yep. Bend your knees up a little bit more. You're gonna lay in bed like this. You're gonna just push down through your heels slightly, and you're gonna maybe feel how that stretches your hip out a little bit. If I say right knee open, you may feel a little stretch, uh, you may get a little cramp up in the hip, or a big cramp, mm -hmm. but let's compare that to the left knee open. That side's gonna feel way different. Maybe it's super tight up in the groin, up in the adductor. He may have some tendonitis up here or some, uh, you know, an old adductor strain, an old groin strain or something. Uh, if we say right knee open, it looks like that. If we say left knee open, it's a little more difficult, right? Mm -hmm. Relax for me. Notice how this foot feels. Notice how this foot feels. Mm -hmm. Stinks, right? Yeah. Okay, so foot relax. So stinks, but gonna get better after a couple sessions of at-home work. Gonna get, there we go, right side. No, left side. Gonna get a little better with some foot outside edge presses. Nice, big toe, just adjust the big toe. Now we already did, nice, there we go. Right, left side. All right, now scooch up on the table. Ankle and right ankle. Nice, the right ankle's loose. Let's see if we can get the knee first. Bend, one. No, not yet. Bend this. Got the fibula on the right, left side. You're gonna work on this at home, okay? Right side's easy, left side's tighter. Makes sense? Yep. In your brain, hand, uh, heels press slightly, feet relax under, okay? Everything in the upper body is nice and relaxed. You're feeling, we'll say, heavy down through here, right? Heavy down through here. Left, uh, sorry, right knee, boom. 20, 30 seconds, left knee, boom, okay? Cool, relax for me. Now, Dave, long term. <laughs> Even though his spine's loose, he adjusts well. His mid-back, got every vertebrae to adjust. Dave's got a bunch of diaphragm work to do. I'm talking two months, three months, so that we get the leg up nice and tall, okay? So to start, you're gonna put hands on table, and at home, you can go wide hands. Okay. We're gonna raise leg up, we're gonna hold here, and we're gonna bend knee a little bit more. We're gonna twist knee open. Dave's gonna hold right here. Maybe straighten up a little bit if possible. Right to there. See how tough that is? Mm -hmm. Breathe in deeply. Hold it in one, two. Exhale it out. Now he's gonna tap in already. Tapping in means find the shakes, find the weak spots, find the strength that we need to gain. We know where we gotta gain it. It's in his core. It's in his rectus femoris, your sartorius, one of your leg muscles, even your adductors. See how tough this is. You could put a pillow behind your head, you could put a foam roller behind your head, something like this, or a full foam roller, just to like chill out in the living room. You're gonna watch some TV on the weekend. I do 10, 15, five-ish minutes, whatever, five, 10, 15. Foot's nice and relaxed, knees open. We set the bow from the hip to the foot. 
just like that. See how that gets tough. Mm -hmm. We could straighten the knee softly. We could turn the knee open. No, not, never closed. Mm -hmm. He's a closed guy, right? You see how he dominated when he closed. Knee open, definitely. Okay, lower down a little bit. Let your foot relax now. Nice. Hold everything with your hip and your leg. No foot tendons. Correct. Hold right here. See how tough that is? Mm -hmm. Toes relax. This guy's got to work a bunch of core work for us outside of running. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Back down. Left leg up. Now his left leg is playing our fascia leg. We're going to guarantee this leg's going to be way tougher. Okay. So key points. Leg up. Knee open. Hold right here. Let your knee bend a little baby bit. Correct. Feel lots of lots of power we got to gain here. Cool. Yep. Inhale deep. Exhale deep. Pull this open a little bit more. Twist the knee out a little bit more. See how tough that gets. The foot's nice and relaxed. How about if I say a little bit of toe curl down here? Just the thought that you're squeezing right into there. Mm -hmm. See how that gets tough, right? Mm -hmm. Inhale deep. Exhale deep. And then you can come back to center and you can pull this up a little bit. You can raise this up just a little bit. You can breathe in, breathe out nice and comfortably, okay? Tap it in big time through here. How about you bend both knees up? Both knees up, let's go. Mm, good, good, gotta hold this, cool. Hands can go wide on the floor. Shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed, jaws relaxed also. Making sure we're breathing in and out through the nose. Dude's gotta lay on his back, get his dead bug powerful. That's the name of the game today. Every video you see, probably got dead bug on everybody to work on to get nice and comfortable. Now he's really tapping and boom, 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 boom. Want to work up to 20, 25, 30 minutes of hold time. Maybe he can only do four or five, three, four, five, six minutes. Take a break, get up, walk around, do some stuff, raise these up a little higher. How about now we support with the hands a little bit? Let's hold ourselves. But it's a light hold, it's not a heavy hold. It's not a, er, it's a light trust. Inhale deep, exhale, think. Pull your knees into you with your hip muscles. The hands just support lightly. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The shoulders go where? Dude knows where to go, okay? I didn't even have to, you know, but you see how you set in the back chain? What if we tuck the elbows in? Nice, now we're really into the back chain. Mm -hmm. What if we raise the feet up? Oh gosh, now we're, and what if we squeeze the toes down and in? Nice, dude. Inhale through your nose, exhale out. So long-term, we're gonna talk more about diaphragm breathing, less chest. Correct, so he knows how to make the switch. Exhale, use your hands, pull your knees up a little bit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Mm -hmm. Take a rest. So, Dave, next time, next week, we'll see you for an appointment. I want you to work on your double knees open. This right knee feels like this. This left knee needs a little bit of external rotation work. Mm -hmm. Your foot squeezes down lightly. We talked the first appointment about toe squeezes down lightly. You're still going to work on this and this. Okay? Definitely going to work on some light outside edge presses on the left side versus the right side. Going to work on some dead bug. Okay. Yep. Now let's touch feet together. Now, grand finale, we got the dude's awesome neck, but let's hit the hands first. Relax here. Relax this wrist, nice. Elbow will pop after we do keep these touching. A little bit more. Palms down and open. Hands here. Relax neck. Turn right. Nice. Now left. Nice. Sit up tall. Beautiful dude. Okay? Mm -hmm. Neck, spine, low back, all throughout, nice and clear. Relax shoulders. Feel how right shoulder pumps now? Mm -hmm. Let's hit it with an adjustment. Relax arm. All right, on left side. All right, back to center. How about we overcorrect right out to here? Correct. Softly here. Softly here. You're gonna cramp somewhere through here as you work this. Same on the right side. Back to center, upward, nice. Left elbow, right elbow. Definitely work this right tricep. See how pumped up this left side is? Mm -hmm. He's gotta pump up this right side because he's got a little bit of a dead right tricep and it'll come back to life. Can you talk to this left side? Correct. Talk to.
to the right side. See how it turns on and off real quick? Mm -hmm. So we turned his power on in his neck. Now he's got to go home and turn his power on in his back. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right. Plantar fasciitis on the left side. The left hip's weaker. The left foot is a little tighter. He's going to work on his left core. That's going to calm down his plantar fascia. Back in the day, I used to scrape that thing out with a Graston tool and do all kinds of stuff. It's painful for the patient. It's, it's uh, sensitive for the patient. Most of them don't like it. Do I have to do this? No, you don't. You've got to work your core a little bit. Over the next two days, his plantar fasciitis will calm down even more as we get the bigger hip muscles to work. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. That's it. I'll Thank see you, you next time. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.